bit more than it all. Now here, we're going to test the Siemens E-Stop module. And it is model 3TK2807-0BB4. It's very easy to hook up. Now, what happens with these, there's five relay contactors in here. And the contact resistance becomes very high and these no longer perform the function that they're supposed to do of connecting one circuit to another. <laughs> so you have to go inside here, unsolder those five contactors, take them apart, clean the contacts, put them back together, resolder them to the board. Ah, folks, don't, 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 just don't. <laughs> the biggest problem with taking these relay contactors apart is they're very brittle and to separate there's there's the part that that holds the uh, circuit the, the the contact to the board the, the, the contacts get soldered down to the board that doesn't make any sense but anyways and there's a part that moves and you have to separate, I'll put some pictures up of, of, of the uh, two separate parts. You have to separate the moving part from the stable part. And there's uh, two clips, one on each side. And the clips or the clip holder break because the plastic is brittle. Now, if these are in a hot environment or if they're... Uh, high current running through uh, those contacts, the, the, the plastic just becomes very brittle. And you can look at these things and they fall apart. <laughs> so, unless you absolutely have to, and in our case we did, try to get you a new one. These things are uh, becoming very, very I say obsolete, but they're on the edge of obsoleteness. And I don't know if you could get a new one. They're on eBay. I just don't know if you could get a brand spank a new one out of Siemens. Maybe you can. Uh, but let's get on with the test. Enough of me yammering along. <laughs> okay, we'll get close. Right here is the A1 terminal and the A2 terminal. On this unit right here, it's 24 volts to power it up. You apply positive 24 volts DC to A1 and it's ground to A2. Now I have a switch right here to activate the, the contacts and it goes from X1 to X4. When I close this switch, the contacts will close and these LEDs will light up indicating that the contactors are closed. This switch over here, it goes from X3 and X5. I have those two jumped out. One side of the switch goes to X3 and to X5. The other side of the switch goes to X1, the same X1 that this switch goes to. And when I open this switch, these two contactors will open up, the channel 1 and the channel 2 contactors. And these contacts, contactors over here, they're on a time delay set by this dial. And right now it's set to just a hair less than 12 seconds. And this is the channel 1 and channel 2 of this side. So let's apply. 24 volts DC. Let me see. Let me turn this light off over here so you can see those LEDs. Turn this one off over here too. Are we close enough to see those LEDs? I think we are. This is your power indicator. I'm going to close this switch from X1 to X4. 
you heard the relay is energized and the two LEDs for channel 1 and channel 2 on this side are illuminated and the two LEDs for channel 1 and channel 2 on this side are illuminated. With those relays closed, we're going to test continuity. Let me set the turn that light on and I'll put it in beep mode so you can hear a beep. Yeah, we're beepy. Let me see if we're in beep. Yeah, okay. Now from 43 to 44, we should have continuity. Yes, we do. And from 23 to 24, we should have continuity. From 33 to 34, we should have continuity. Kind of high, but not too bad. And from 43 to 44, good continuity. 33 to 34, am I reading that right? Oh, 53 to 54, we have good continuity. Now this one here is normally open. When we de-energize, we'll check it again. And that's 65 to 66. Yes, it's open. Now let's go over to the other side here. This is 77 to 78. That's good. 87 to 88. That's good. 97 to 98. That's good. All right. Now we're going to open this switch. These two LEDs just turned off, and the channel 1 and channel 2 contactors, they've opened up. And here, after 12, almost 12 seconds, this side turned off. Now let's go check uh, 65 to 66. That's normally closed. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, let me open that switch and close this switch and now close X1 to X4. Let's check continuity again. these screws down a little bit. Let's see what we get now. A little bit better. Okay. Let's open that switch. Open this switch. We can close that switch again. About 12 seconds passes when these two contactors open up here, there they go. They're on a time delay circuit. Well, there you go. That's not too hard. I'll put the drawings of the hookups. Or you can find this PDF. And, and it shows you how to hook up your 
unit right there. This drawing right here. This PDF is readily available online. All you have to do is search for that, that part number and you'll find that PDF. There you go. Now you know how to test your Siemens E-Stop module. I'll unhook it. And this can go back to the factory and do a little bit more work. Okay, everyone. Have you a good day and have you a good life. And we'll see you next time. Here's the high contact resistance. That's around 300 kilo ohms bouncing around. There's 400. Still 10 kilo ohms. 1.4 kilo ohms. Four hundred kilo ohms. Three hundred and eighty kilo ohms. The best one hundred and twenty four ohms. <laughs> 400, 400 kilo ohms bouncing around. Last one. Uh, 1K, 1 kilo ohm. Let's check the normally closed contact. Let it time out. The function of the e-stop module is good. Here's the normally closed contact. 200 and some kilo ohms and bouncing around. Let me check my leads. Yes, my leads are good. Well, this one's going to have to get taken apart and the contacts cleaned.